This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. President Lincoln's son died February 21st, and the departments were not illuminated on Washington's birthday. I attended the 20th Street Methodist Church this evening. I go there because it's the nearest church. The pastor preached his farewell sermon. It has snowed all day. This may delay our move, but we shall start soon. March 6th. General Lander's funeral took place today and was a very solemn affair. General McClellan was one of the pallbearers, and General Keyes and staff attended. Bishop Clark of Rhode Island preached the sermon. I hope I shall be ordered back to my regiment soon. Not that I am dissatisfied with my position here, and the general is very kind to me, but I want to be with the boys in the next campaign and do my part as a soldier. I have no fear of the future. If I die upon the battlefield, I hope to receive the reward of the righteous and feel resigned to God's will. March 7th. A fine day, and troops have been moving in the streets. It's said that they're crossing into Virginia. Our turn will come soon. March 9th. Camp Brightwood, 2nd Rhode Island Volunteers. Well, I've had my wish, and here I am back to my regiment again as a soldier. Saturday, while visiting the camp, Colonel Wheaton sent for me and informed me that I'd been promoted to be sergeant major of the regiment. Well, well, who would have supposed that this would ever have happened? To say that I was delighted to be very tame. Corporal William G. Bradford, Company G., is to take my place as clerk at division headquarters. This morning, my traps were brought out to camp, and I was mustered as sergeant major. I've received many congratulations from officers and men, and I'm very happy. Tomorrow I shall receive my sash and sword. I shall mess with the officers by special arrangements. General Keyes expressed himself as much pleased with my promotion, and said that I'd served him faithfully, and that he was glad to see me prosper. He said something about young men being ambitious for promotion, but his remarks would apply equally as well to himself. He was very kind to me, however, and I shall always remember him with gratitude. The former Sergeant Major, George C. Clandenon, has been made a second lieutenant. Levi Carr, Pawtuxet, has returned from his furlough. Direct your letters to Sergeant Major E. H. Rhodes, 2nd Regiment, Rhode Island Volunteers, Camp Brightwood, Washington, D.C. Corporal is played out. Monday, March 10th, 3 a.m. At midnight, orders came to march, and the men are busy cooking their three days' rations. I got my promotion just in time to go with them. Let's trust in God that he'll guide and protect us. Levi Carr is on guard tonight as sergeant of the guard. 8 a.m. The regiment left camp at 8 o'clock and marched to Tennelly Town, Maryland, joining the division on the road. We then crossed the Potomac River at Chain Bridge. The bridge is protected on the Maryland side by a large earthwork mounting many heavy guns. The roads were bad until we crossed the river and then became hard and firm. After marching about eight miles on the Leesburg Pike, we went into camp near Prospect Hill. Colonel Wheaton took possession of a brush hut and invited me to share his quarters with him. I started out this morning very brave and determined to carry my knapsack on my back, but soon weakened and placed it on a wagon. It'll be carried for me hereafter, or I shall leave it behind me. Camp on Prospect Hill, Virginia, March 11th. Still in camp.